We're outside of 841 Eagle Street in Naperville, Illinois, and we're about to give you a tour of this gorgeous home. The details throughout the home, as well as the exterior of the home, are absolutely stunning, but we start with a craftsman style exterior. We've got the nice stonework going all the way through with a beautiful front porch with can lighting. We also have a customized stained eight foot front door, so you know right from the start you're gonna be walking into a beautiful home. Let's go inside and check it out. One of the things that we wanted to do was bring the craftsman style look to the outside of the home, inside the home when we first walked in. So you'll notice right away we've got the nice wainscoting and plenty of moldings throughout the house. To my left, when we first start, we've got a nice little den area, which can be used as a sitting room or perfect for an office for those of us who work from home. You'll also notice in this main level that we have the new hardwood floors that run from the front all the way to the back and all the way throughout your kitchen into your family room and your dining room. To my right, right off of the garage, we have a small mud room which has a nice locker set up in a mocha style which is perfect for all your stuff when you walk in. To the left, we have our dining room area. Again, we continue the way in scouting, we actually added the crown molding up top and you have a beautiful bronze light fixture there as well. Now we get to the back of the house and this is where the magic happens in this house. We have a gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous kitchen actually. We went with the two tone color cabinets. So on the lower where the island is, we have a nice mocha style, and the upper is all the way along the base, we have a nice dove white kitchen. You notice the bronze handles as well as the bronze light fixtures and the bronze fixtures for your actual plumbing supply throughout the whole house. What I love about this kitchen is the two-tone area of the granite countertops as well. So we have a nice leather matte finished granite countertop. This is something that I've actually never seen before and I personally love it. And the granite countertop on the island has a nice little white, kind of like your arctic ice that we've used before in the past as well. The appliances are something you're going to want to take a nice look at as well. You have the Thermador appliance set, which is top of the line stuff. The refrigerator you could probably fit a small family into if you wanted. Now off of your kitchen, you have this huge family room, so it almost makes this space into a giant great room, which is perfect for entertainment. Now, one thing you're going to notice when you get in here is the tall ceiling height. We actually vaulted everything, so instead of just being a flat ceiling that ran through, you have a nice tall fixture which makes this room feel even bigger. As we make our way up to the second level, you notice this nice customized staircase. We have the wooden flooring, we also have the wooden stained banisters, and we have the painted white spindles, which gives a nice contrasting color. Now, what I like about upstairs, we have a nice landing area up here, so you're not walking right into a bedroom right when you get to the top. Our first bedroom back behind me is actually a private, kind of a secondary master suite. We have nice tall ceilings in each of the bedrooms and a big walk-in closet in all three of the bedrooms. This first bathroom is actually a very nice subway tile and we liked it so much that we're planning on using some of the same tiles in our master bedroom at the next house that we're building right now. The other two bedrooms across from the hall here are actually a Jack and Jill combo. So you have one bedroom, two bedrooms, and in the middle we've got a nice bathroom that connects. Each bathroom side has its own vanity and a sliding door to separate the two with a big tall stand up shower with some custom slate tile work in between. We finish up our tour in the master bedroom suite and I do mean it's a suite, we actually have a separate door and we're not in the bedroom area yet. We have this long hallway where we've got a couple different rooms. We start off to the left here where we have the actual master bathroom and it is a master bathroom. We have one of the biggest showers that you'll ever find or some nice custom tile work. We have the thicker tiles in the lower level and the longer more the subway tiles in the upper level. And of course, it's huge. You can fit three, four, five people in there if you wanted to. We also have a standalone tub, which is very trendy right now, and it looks absolutely superb. And you can just see yourself throwing out the candles and just hanging out there for however long you need to. We have a double vanity area where we have two separate sinks and one of the coolest granite countertops that I've ever viewed personally. As we continue down the hallway here, we have a huge walk-in closet to the left with custom shelving so you can fit all of your clothes, shoes, bags, whatever it is you need in there. And we also have a smaller closet here to the right, which probably is going to end up being his closet. As we finish up the master bedroom, it's all the way to the back. We have nice big tray ceilings, a huge ceiling fan, and plenty of space for all of your furniture or just a giant bedroom area. 